Good morning, it's Antti. Today I'm gonna show you how this image was done. So let's cue the intro. So this image was done as a poster image for my TV's main theater. I will show you a bit of a video of behind the scenes footage and then I'm go through all the layers that needed to be retouched to achieve this image. So let's see some behind the scenes footage first and then we'll go to Photoshop where I open up the layers. So enjoy the video now. Okay, here we are in Photoshop, uh, plenty of layers, but I will uh, go through what happens in each one of these. So as you saw, I shot um, people uh, on these, uh, they were hanging from the ceiling, so uh, I would get this kind of a more like a floating floating style for their um, body movements. And so I start basically first to doing the bit of a background. So I have here just this kind of ocean water picture and then I extended that to be uh, on the lower part too. I needed to, be, to have a really big picture in a way. It's um, 9,500 times almost like 6,000 because I need to crop it also as a ver to both vertical and horizontal pictures. So I will have both from this one, one picture. So I will start from the background and then I would kind of bring those people in. So I will have the people, uh, both of them here. I'll just uncheck these. So first the woman and you can see the original file from here that I used. So I have cut her out here and then have that as a smart object in my scene. So I needed to do a bit of an extension uh, for the hair. So I had separate shots where they, the, everyone was kind of blowing air on her so I would get flowing hair. So here's all these layers that I can extend the hair to look like it's like in water. So as you can see, uh, these are just the separate shots that I did with the, you know, a lot of air blowing on her. So, and here's the guy, and there's also a bit of bubbles that are behind him. So, these, after these, I will start kind of construct, constructing the environment, a bit of color grading there. So, as a background, I wanted to have just kind of a floor anyway, still like a bottom. Then I need to do a bit of color grading again. So I'm adding like a bit of a amoeba or some kind of a... Anything like that looks like a bit more interesting. There's a depth in the image. So and I'm bringing a bit of a light streaks again coming from up here because it's a kind of a fantasy um, themed uh, show anyways putting something um, on the left side, like a mountain or a stone structure. 
um, the same on this side so that it looks like they're kind of diving into a cave putting some trees like dead trees on the bottom let's move on so here's a dodge and burn layer so I'm kind of emphasizing certain areas um, then adding bubbles to the guy here's just selection of bubbles that I do on that side too I don't know what that is bubbles are oh, all oh, there up here yes and then we move on I needed to make the top part look more interesting so I'm drawing attention with the kind of a vignette here first adding more bubbles atmospheric elements to the water um, more bubbles to the surface more bubbles under here more bubbles here more bubbles here so these are um, random stock images that i've been using so now i wanted to go to make it look like the guy is diving here and i'm kind of pushing the levels only get the bubbles light streaks coming up from from the surface kind of a again a bit of a selective color corrections then I'm uh, at this point I merge on all the layers too. Uh, I wanted to get this kind of a blurry blurry effect so I'm just uh, ma uh, making a stamp visible everything and then I'm masking out only those part for the pictures so it's a kind of motion blur that gives this kind of a underwater look to the image then I'm adding a bit of more like a plants under here, like a coral, and then a bit of more uh, plants, another plant here, and then just adjusting that into levels. So when I have constructed this environment, I will save it, uh, then I will go to the Lightroom. So here we are in Lightroom. So what I've done. Uh, for the image, so I've been kind of vignetting and toning a bit of the image here in Lightroom, adding slightly noise to the image, and kind of did some sharpening and a bit of color corrections. So here I like Lightroom because I can do these different crops out of this. So here's this uh, kind of a poster-sized image, and then the wi wider image, which image they can crop it in any way you, they want if they want even kind of a banner so that's why i designed it like a really big image so they can use it in a in a horizontal and vertical form <laughs> so there you have all there is for the this project i really hope you liked this video and learned maybe something uh, it was a great project to do uh, for the theater if you like these videos, put a thumbs up as always, write a comment. I really enjoy getting feedback from you guys. Subscribe the channel and I will be seeing you on my next adventures. Cheers.